If you look at the total dollar amount that's spent on health care in our society, about 97% of that goes to medical care. That's the actual treatment of diseases and illnesses. And only about 3% goes into prevention. But if you look at what actually would need to happen to save on those dollars, you would have to really do reductions in obesity, in diabetes, improving nutrition, increasing physical activity, cut, cutting down on smoking. And those aren't things that the medical community can really do a whole lot about. If we don't want to continue to see spiraling health care costs and diminished quality of life, somebody needs to do something about it. And clearly the nonprofit sector without government support doesn't have the resources to do that. And it's in the government's interest to do it because the government picks up a huge amount of the cost of health care. Because of the budget deficit, uh, we knew we had to reduce uh, some of our activities. So we're, we're spending less, we're spending fewer dollars on um, medical education. I'm always worried when you cut back on programs, uh, particularly in these times when dollars are tight. Uh, when you cut back, does that mean that it's on its way to being gone altogether? And, and I'm really worried that if we don't put enough resources into ship, it may go away. And that really is one of our pure opportunities to actually change cost of health care in our state. Things that we have to do at a community level to get people to exercise, to have safe biking paths, safe walking paths, safe route to schools, smoking reduction programs throughout the state. Those are the things that are actually going to ultimately improve the health of everybody in this state.